Okay, so now let's look at tourism in Ireland, some of the top destinations. Okay, Ireland is a very small country, but there are lots and lots of things to do in the country. We have a similar culture across the country, but there are many different things you can do. And um, so these are the top destinations, places to visit in Ireland. Uh, the first one is Dublin. Okay, it's the capital city. So, you know, it's the first stop that many people make um, and it's a vibrant city, a lot of things going on, lots of things to see. And um, so, yeah, first stop for most tourists. Temple Bar is a play very touristic place with um, kind of like sample Irish pubs. Irish pubs are famous across the world and uh, this is a good place to start. Okay, there are also museums, parks. Uh, castles and pubs okay i can give you some of them in my recommendations list that you can find with this course so here we go here is the halfpenny bridge in dublin okay there's a little bit of what it looks like on a nice sunny day you can walk around here with many other tourists and locals okay so now we can look at galway this picture is the cliffs of moher and um, which is a little bit outside of Galway, but uh, Galway is a great city as well. It's small and very lively. Uh, Irish people love to go to Galway too, and lots of foreign people too. So it's a great uh, mix of, you know, good nightlife, nice food, um, and nice sights to see as well. It's along the coast, west coast of Ireland. So there's also horse racing in July and an arts festival too. Um, there's many different festivals and the music is great in Galway too. Um, Roisin Dove is a place, is a bar to find uh, live music. And the pubs, uh, there's a street, a small street that goes down the middle of Galway uh, called Shop Street. And uh, there are many, many pubs there with lots of people enjoying themselves. And uh, my favorite bar is called the Crane Bar. It's, it's a little bit... Um, a little bit uh, outside of this area, but uh, it's, it's well, uh, well recommended. Uh, great Guinness and great music. Next up, we have Kerry, and um, this is on the southwest coast of Ireland. Uh, so you have really beautiful landscapes, okay, um, that you know you just can't find anywhere else. Uh, Killarney is a small town that uh, looks very beautiful and a good a place to start your journey and there's the ring of Kerry uh, this is kind of a, a drive that you can drive around and um, takes a long time because of the the coastline and um, then there's Dingle which is another small town um, with uh, nice pubs and uh, good food and everything else you would expect and there is a dolphin there called Fungi the dolphin and this dolphin has been there since I was a child, uh, so I don't know, it's been there for 20 or 30 years and it's kind of a local legend down in Dingle. Um, so there are lots of rural villages, um, you know, where you can just stop off and have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and a sandwich or something like that while, to break up your, your drive. So uh, renting a car here is is really a great, a great thing to do. Um, so there's also the Irish language all along the west coast of Ireland that people speak um, some people speak the Irish language, but you'll be fine with English, no problem. Uh, and there's just spectacular views. OK, um, so many spectacular views in Kerry. OK, there's also the Game of Thrones tour. Um, I think this is a picture of Tullymore Forest um, there's Winterfell. Um, the Castle Ward to the Iron Islands and Dorne. So many different um, parts of the Game of Thrones sets were filmed in Northern Ireland. And uh, there are many tours now that can can uh, show you around the best places. OK, here's a picture of Ireland. Um, so one very popular touristic thing to do now is called the Wild Atlantic Way. So it's quite a long trip if you see from the very north, Malin Head at the top and all the way down to the south in Kinsale. Um, it, it will take you a long time to drive or cycle. A lot of people cycle um, this route. So 
2,500 kilometers of beauty, right? Um, the trip goes all along the west coast. So this is probably one of the most beautiful parts of Ireland, all along the west coast. Like all of these places, Kerry in the south. Then you've got Clare is this next part here. Uh, Galway here. Uh, Mayo here, this county here. So uh, lots of beautiful things here. Sligo here and Dun Donegal. Okay, so there's just so many things to see um, there. So you can go hiking, swimming. Lots of people go swimming. I know it's cold, but uh, lots of people do it, especially in summer. There are cliffs, right? Um, so the famous ones are the Cliffs of Moher. But there are also the Sleeve League Cliffs up here, which I think are the highest cliffs in Ireland, actually. But the most famous are the Cliffs of Moher. And there's lots of beautiful beaches. Ireland's not famous for beaches, but you would be surprised. There is a lot of coast here, so you can find lots of beautiful beaches. It's not like you sit out in the sun, but you can go for walks and uh, enjoy. Uh, lots of festivals, especially in summer, uh, with music and incredible views. Okay, and don't forget the pubs. There are always lots of nice pubs. You can enjoy yourself there. Ireland is also a great place to play golf, okay? We have lots of Lynx courses. Lynx course is just means it's near the sea. So as you can see here, there's just beautiful courses. Um, and yeah, even Donald Trump bought one. So on the west coast of Ireland, Donald Trump has a golf course there. And there are lots of golf courses if that's something that you're interested in. And hotels, this is the Adair Manor in Limerick. Uh, and yeah, it won the best hotel in the world in 2018. So uh, there, there are quite a number of these beautiful hotels all around Ireland. Uh, if you are on a budget, then you can check out many hostels and things as well. So here are some websites that you can use, booking.com or Agoda, you can book an Airbnb. Uh, and we also have lots of B&Bs as well. So this is kind of a bed and breakfast that you can just stay the night and you get an Irish breakfast usually in the morning. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than a hotel. And, you know, sometimes you meet the local people as well. Um, but a lot of them nowadays are also on Airbnb. Uh, Booking.com is great to find B&Bs too nowadays. Okay, or you could stay in a hostel. Hostelworld.com is an Irish website um, where you can book a hostel. Okay, if you want to travel around, um, you can find train networks that connect the, the major cities. Okay, Dublin, Cork, Belfast, Galway, Limerick, and Sligo. And there's also buses. Okay, so this is a picture of Dublin bus. Um, but there's also a company called Bus Erin. That's the national bus service that travels all around the country. And um, so if you're in Dublin, then it's a good idea to buy a leap card because uh, this will save you money. The, the, the ticket is cheaper when you buy a leap, leap card. And also because there's a quite a bit of hassle when you want to go to the bus and you want to pay. And imagine you have like five euro note or something like that and they don't accept. Uh, notes sometimes and they don't give you change which is an even bigger problem so you can imagine you arrive in the country and you take out 50 euro and you can't use the bus then so and um, yeah it's a good idea to buy a leap card in any you could buy this in any news agent okay at the airport a news agent is just like a small uh, shop that sells like newspapers and that type of thing and uh, phone credit and everything else like that Okay, if you want to rent a car, that's a great idea. Um, because, yeah, like Ireland is a small country, but uh, there's a lot of things to do, right? It's, it's not like a, a big country like Australia, where there's a big empty space in the middle. Everything in Ireland, everywhere in Ireland, there are towns and things to do. So uh, it's a great idea to rent a car. Uh, so you can pre-book your, some, some tips here. Pre-book your car to save money. A manual car is cheaper. Automatic cars are not common in Ireland, uh, like in the US. So, uh, yeah, if you don't know how to drive a manual gear stick, then 
uh, you might find it more difficult because um, automatic cars are just not very common and you need to be over 21 years old to rent a car in Ireland.